Hi, warriors. Welcome to Kia Plays. Same me right love ballad party. Iyasu Tokugawa's stupid story. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. If you don't like me reading out loud, and you don't like me, like, reading out loud and all, just leave. 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 I don't care. Just leave if you don't like me talking or reacting, reacting to the story. Just leave. Leave, okay? And I told you I would come back. I told you I was going to come back with with two two parts. Anyways, let's let's do it. Let's do this. The heck? What the heck was that? Um. 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 Okay. Let's pretend that did not happen. K click continue. Click touch. Click on touch. Freaking gosh damn it. Congratulations, Lord Nimanaka, Lord Iyasu. It was a fine victory. All me the men gather in the main hall have cups overflowing with the finest sake. What else was there to do, after all, than have a victory feast the moment we return? My little dog played fetch quite well for us. You are to be commanded. Yes, truly, you handled that sp spear like a demon rising from hell. Thank you. The Maeda clan is honored by your praise. Iyasu, your brilliant strategy won us the this battle. We commend you for your decision to make them break ranks for from side to side and giving us the strength to do so. We thank you for your kind words, Lord Nibunaga. But if you are to offer your praise, it should be given to our unmatched retainers. I was absolutely transfixed by your this is age on the battlefield, if I am honest. He's an entirely different person around Lord Nibunaga, as usual. His smile bright as the summer sun, shining brilliantly against clear blue sky. I can't begin to imagine what thought lurks behind it. Actually, no. If that man is happy, I am sure it is some horrible cruelty or other behind his mirth. Even so, I can't help but think that keeping such an effortless smile for so long must be suffocating. Hey, you! Look live and get us some more sake over here. Ah, forgive me, my lord. Sake coming right up. Can't you see this cup is empty? Go on. Hurry up. Right away, my lords. Wait. Toramatsu. I'll go with you to get the sake. Huh? Before I can ask why he's already striding ahead of me out the door. Um, you don't have to. I can handle getting sake on my own. Turamasu? I can't stand to be there with them, so I'm coming with you. What? I was not nearly as much used to be the Tok Tokugawa clan as they were. So I'm not really in the mood to call this celebration. I see. Yeah. 
Something about how devastated he looks reminds me distinctly of someone else. Inu used to look like that when he felt like he didn't prove himself enough. I remember how he used to get mad at me whenever I tried to cheer him up saying it wasn't something a woman could understand. It's not an easy memory to have. Maybe I do need help with the that sake after all. Why do you look so surprised? I, well, usually they just tell me to be a man and learn to fight or something. That sounds like something they would do, alright. The indifference in our approach turns my smile a little worry. I won't. I never th even thought to say that in the first place. Leave if you don't like it if I read out loud. Leave! Leave! But don't, don't unsubscribe. Seriously, that... A lot of people been unsubscribing for some reason and I don't understand why. It's because I don't record Sin Right Love Bow Party much. But um yeah. Leave if you don't like it. Leave if you don't you hate this video. Okay. Why not? It's better to live to cease home than it is to die fighting for nothing. To live? That's right. I'd be much happier to see you alive as a whatever the fuck that is than let other people crown you once you, you're dead. Is that what it is to live? Yeah, at least I think so. I say without a moment of hesitation in turn in return. At last, I get a faint smile. Uh. But they were not alone. Someone was watching, hidden in the shadows of the kitchen, and he heard every word. Oh, it's Iyasu. Idiot! Asu! Idiot! You're an idiot, Asu! Now, presenting just for the one and only Lord of Mananga, Hideyoshi Monkey Dance. Here we go, Inu. What the? When did I get dragged into this? Shh. Just get up here. Come on now. Hey, what are you trying to do? Dislocate my arm? Stop with the pulling. The... Though the feast has been going on for hours, it shows no sign of stopping anytime soon. A monkey and his dog dancing. How draw. In indeed a rare sight, my lord. At least Lord Monaga seemed to be in a good mood. Though the same can't be said for Lord Iyasu hasn't even done more than blink ever since he got back. He didn't, I mean, he doesn't seem to be eating or drinking anything offered to him either. Maybe he's not hungry. Wait, he's getting up? The next thing I know, he leaves the main hall alone. What do I do now? He hasn't eat, eaten and he is leaving? Is what I'm gonna say. He needs to eat something. He was out there fighting too, just like the everyone else. 
I should probably make him something so that he doesn't end up going to bed hungry tonight. I stand leaving Lord Hideyoshi and Inu to their dancing. Oh? Lord Mitsunari, are you standing out here by yourself? Yeah, once Hideyoshi gets like that, he'll be a while. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you! I love Mitsunari. Mitsunari, you're my freaking hubu. My number one hubu. You will always be my number one hubu. Already going to bed? No, I was just on my way to the kitchen to make something for Lord Iyasu to eat. I see. But I'm glad I got to see you again, Lord Mitsunari. I've always wanted a chance to thank you. Well, that's it, warriors. And I answered, right? So, yeah, that's it. Stay awesome and take care of Tanaka King. I play Samurai Love Battle Party. Bye!